Hi guys, it's Marianne with Akashic Inspiration, and today this is going to be the reading for the month of March for the Love to Row reading for Capricorn. So, uh, Cappies, my Cappies, I'm a Cappy. Uh, what's in store for us this month? Well, first of all, the energies are astounding and amazing and awesome. And if you haven't felt the surge, um, as we came into the beginning of March, um, I'm sorry, I've been like super busy, but I wanted to get these videos, uh, to, done and taken care of for you guys. I haven't forgotten. And so thank you so much for all your comments and asking. Um, and I'll try and do better for next month to get them up all on time. But Regardless of the fact, March 8th is going to be the new moon in Pisces, and we're having a full solar eclipse, which um, is going to affect us in the in the realms of deep karmic cleansing. Cryon the Healer is working with us in Pisces to really dig deep. Um, something like we experience with the uh, Saturn and Scorpio energies that just, um, you know, that we just came out of and, and now we're into Sagittarius. But um, it's, it's like that. It's very deep. It's very transformative. Um, it's really, you know, you're ready. We're ready for these karmic changes. And um, this is, if, if we take the steps to initiate this ourselves, we'll be able to get through it in a far easier flowing manner than if we're resisting it. So um, a lot of times we don't want to delve deep into the, into the emotions. Um, but sometimes we have to do this work in order to release ourselves and to make space within us so that our higher self can channel and funnel the newer energies down into us, into manifestation, into our reality as we live here on this earth um march 20th is going to be the um spring equinox or the summer uh, the autumn equinox if you're in the southern hemisphere and on the 23rd we've got the full moon in libra so a lot of balancing um a lot of masculine and feminine energies intertwining to create sacred unions um, and we will be able to use uh, the lunar eclipse to really hone in on our intuition and our deepest desires at that point and bring them into culmination through the release of the full moon. This also is reflective of the energies from last September when we had the blood full moon in the, in the final four of the tetrad blood full moons. This is also going to be a super full moon. So it's one of six super full moons in Libra. So it really is about justice, the scales of balance, fairness, um, if you're in some type of uh, court situation, it's it's about bringing about a fair and just resolution to that. Um, it is also about being fair and just in your relationships. If you have been giving and giving and giving, it's time now to receive and to adjust the scales of balance so that you can fill your cup, you can fill yourself within to be able to have more to be able to give. If you fill yourself, then you have all of that so much more to be able to give um, later on. If you're uh, desirous of a private reading, I am available for private readings next week. Um, you can go to my website, AkashicInspirations.com. I also have some wonderful downloads on my download page for you guys, books and information, declarations, affirmations, just all kinds of varied types of information. I also provide for healings, uh, chakra cleansings, rainbow healing, um, as well as violet flame. Um, I'll take you through a violet flame transmutation if that's what you desire, um, um, which wouldn't be a bad thing to do now at the beginning of the month. Um, I was reading some Vedic uh, astrology, and they were talking about how Lord Shiva is his day right before the new moon, um, on the March 8th, and it's that day to clean to cleanse everything, right? So sage, sage your home, sage yourself, cleanse, take up some salt baths, get into the ocean if you can. Um, really, it's about a purification of body, mind, and spirit to be able to open yourself up to to receiving the new that, that will come after the uh, reset button gets hit on that solar eclipse. So uh, if you would also like to delve into some of this karmic issues that you're dealing with and not understanding why, we um, on, my face, on my page you'll also see a past life regression package, which I'm doing in conjunction with Glammy Witch or Intuitive Deborah um, and Ron Schaefer from Simply Intuitive. And that is $60, and that really is a bargain. I mean, there's three of us. We get on the Skype calls with you. We provide you a Facebook thread with all kinds of information and uh, meditation 
license and just uh, be able to communicate with you from the get-go. And we also provide like a questionnaire so that we can be sure that we tailor um, the experience to you. And we've done several of them so far over the last couple of weeks, and they've just been each and every one unique and amazing. And I am so grateful that I get to participate and do those type of readings with my friends. Uh, okay, so let's go to the monthly reading. And we have, oops, sorry, we've got uh, our Glastonbury Tarot. And let us do our nine card spread to see what energies we will be working with for the month of March. I'm sorry, I will spread that out. Do a little shuffle. Oh. Let's see, what do our angels and guides want us to know for the month of March? Okay, so this is what we're releasing, releasing grief. And the grief is because we have not found a way or had not found a way. I think this is, um, as we come into these, are some of these karmic issues that we're dealing with. We were unable to find a way to communicate and we feel frustrated and we feel isolated and we felt alone and we felt that there was nobody to either understand us or that we could not understand somebody that we totally loved. And if, if this is, this is this light, yellow light of communications, if they would only but turn around to look at each other and to face each other, they would be able to find a way and a means of communication. And so it is that lack of being able to do that in your relationships, to really open up emotionally and to really find intimacy um, in in your in your relationships with others that is brought um, has brought this grief to you and this karmic issues uh, to the forefront. So. <laughs> and here we were talking about justice, but know that the scales are being righted. This is what this uh, uh, full moon in Libra is going to be helping us do is to find that balance, to find the justice within, uh, to, to find fair play and to know that there are resolutions in a fair manner where um, what the outcomes are will, uh, will be um, justly given. Right. And here we have, this is Arcturus, uh, our, our Viragus really is Arthur. Um, and he's holding the, this balance scale here we have, which is very interesting. Here we have the lunar, the intuition, the silver cup, and here we have the gold, the gold chalice. So here very interesting is to me denoting specifically these, um, uh, these eclipses that we're going to be going through. One is the solar eclipse and the other is the lunar eclipse. So between these eclipses, that's going to bring a beautiful balancing of energies that we can, um, uh, find, um, a, a way out of things. And uh, I'm going to go with this, the Knight of Swords, because this is where we're fighting out of the brambles. We're going to find the way out. We're going to fight our way out. We're, we've um, uh, come into this place um, where we felt um, perhaps overwhelmed or um, encircled and, and, and bounded in some way, but know that because you have your sword of truth with you, you have that within you that you can cut away everything, all the dead and uh, withered branches and uh, dead weight basically that you've been carrying because I know that Capricorns, a lot of us carry other people's responsibilities and that is not ours. So we're going to cut away this dead weight. We're going to cut away these things that no longer serve and clear the path. So this be, be up, know that this is going to be a time where you're finally going to be able to get out of that installment of at the, um, finally able to cut away that dead weight that no longer serves you. And when we do that, then we open ourselves up for inspiration. And we open ourselves up to the three of pentacles, which is creativity. And so we are allowed that creativity to take the place of all the worries and concerns and the dead weight that, and the, de the responsibilities that we took on that were not our own. And now we can have time for ourselves. And we have time to be inspired and to bring out beauty, to create beauty in our lives and for our families and for our community. 
and it's and and that's what our work is going to be like that's what we're going to be working on this beautiful creativity and we're going to have that time to take to do things for ourselves and again look another three cards so three is the number of manifestation so we're going to be manifesting we're doing the work and then we're going to be able to celebrate we're going to be able to share with our family and friends and share with that special energy of community um whether it's soul family or if it's you know your brothers and sisters or your parents or your your children you're going to have a moment of celebration and joy and uh, a, a sense of accomplishment and having been able to uh, to really get rid of these these deep dark uh, karmic issues and be able to celebrate so that I, I love it because it's in the middle of the spread so it's kind of like a focal point for us and here we have the wheel of fortune and it's turning in our favor so th that's you know we're we turned we've we're turning the we're turning the tide here you know we're going to be able to now uh be able to have those relationships that we want to have. We're going to be able to celebrate and really connect emotionally, connect on an emotional heart centered level, um, uh, really in, in an intimate level with others and not just on a superficial level and without lack of communication. We're going to be able to have those things that we wanted. And he, oh my God, another three, you guys, three of staffs now. And here is honesty. We're going to be able to stand in our truth and be authentically who we are and shine our light and be able to go forward in a very serene and happy manner. We're going to, we, we're going to be able to leave behind all of these things and we're only going to be looking forward. We're only going to be looking towards where we need to go. We're going to leave the old baggage, the things that don't serve us in the behind. And we're going to be walking forward with this new sense of devotion, loyalty, to to ourselves and to what our mission is to what is our life path to what is um you know what is the best for us right but the best for you and the best for um you in in, in the sense of your relationships so let us pull the last two cards and so this is kind of a transformative i think it's a turning point month and here we have the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is coming in and it's, you know, the, the card with the justice, right? It's the King of Swords here. Now he's coming in and, and he's coming in in a wise and just manner. He's balanced. He He's able to use his wisdom, his intellect for uh, to be able to express things in a wise manner, in a generous manner, in a balanced manner, and, and with an illuminated point of view, that higher perspective, that higher thought is what's going to be coming down and being brought down into earth. The higher perspective for you now, you sit in your column of light and you're able to shine and be authentically who you're supposed to be right and and that is going to bring about a victory for you a victory in the sense of personal victory so let us see what the last card it's been a very oh interesting wow i love it the interesting card and we end with the six of cups so we've gone through all of these threes three six nine six Interesting. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of new. Oh my gosh, we do have all the threes. Three of swords, three of cups, three of uh, pentacles, three of wands. And so now we end with six. So we're able to bring the as above to the so below. That is what a six is about. And this is union. The six of cups is a union on a physical level, a physical intimacy, a playful, um, you know, joyous type of tantric could be, it's very sensual, um, very, uh, loving and demonstrative. So we, once we do that connection, once we, we find that intimate connection, then we can feel comfortable with it and we can be comfortable expressing our emotions and expressing our love unconditionally. Um, I love I love the way that the cards came out, and I find it fascinating that we have um, that we have this. So I'm, I'm gonna see. Let's see here. We've got three, six, nine with the threes, ten, eleven, eleven and eight is nineteen, nineteen and um, nineteen and ten is uh, twenty nine. And 29 and 6 is uh, 35 and 3 and 5 is 8, which is the symbol of eternity, of the infinite potential of 
infinity and the eternal cycle of of the way uh, that life is throughout the cosmos. So I think that this is a incredible reading for Capricorns. Um, it is tough. It is like we are. It is like it is like the the mountain goat. It's tough going uphill. But once you get that higher perspective and you see from the top of the mountain as the goat that you see how things turn then and you go downhill and things flow so much easier and 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 we are able to flow through your creative inspirations. You're able to bring down that higher knowledge and you are able to make that those connections in your relationships with those that you love and to find that true intimate um, physical demonstrative expression of unconditional love through your relationships. So, wow, very potent, very powerful reading for this month, Capricorn. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope that your month is full of wonder and joy and um, just finding that way to be able to connect intimately with those that you love and those that will be coming into your path. So I send you many blessings for this month of March, and um, I want you to look forward to, I'll be doing readings for the elemental signs of earth, air, fire, and water for both the new moon and solar eclipse, as well as the full moon and the uh, lunar eclipse in the, the, the end of the month. So I send you blessings. Namaste.